Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Kaiwil CyberVac S31. Here on the front we can already see the robot vacuum as well as the dock and then when we open up the box we'll see different boxes inside with different compartments. So we can already see first that we have this really big accessory box so we'll have to see what's inside there and next up we'll see this huge docking station. But we'll get to this a little bit later and last but certainly not least we have the box for the robot vacuum itself. But now let's start off with the accessories. So once we open this little box right here we can then see that first up we have this filter that we can replace that goes inside of the robot vacuum and these parts are also available separately so if you need this replaced on top of this one spare part that's included inside the box then this is possible. Next up we'll then have this um, water cleaning module or mop cleaning module uh, that you can click in below the robot vacuum so that you don't only vacuum the floor but also have a wet wipe on there which is nice to see and something that I use a lot on my Xiaomi Robo Rock I think it's called and this basically looks identical to that so we can fill in water right there and then you're ready to go. Next up we then also have some re uh, replacement microfiber cloth here, uh, 10 of these white ones I believe or 20 even, I'm not quite sure, <laughs> a lot of them and then one of these grey ones as well. So it's nice to see that this much accessories are included inside of the box which we don't always see. Next up we then have these orange brushes and these are mounted below the robot vacuum and this is also great to see that we have two replacement ones right here and that we actually have two already pre-installed on the robot vacuum. On my Roborock we only have one on one side which isn't that great. Then next up we'll of course also get some paperwork. So here we have the manual itself as well as also like a quick start guide for the app but the app was super simple with just setting it up, pairing it and then already starting like the first cleaning process that you don't really need that. Then we also have some batteries included because there's even a remote control that actually feels pretty nice in terms of quality. I wasn't really expecting that just to have a remote included at all but it's just nice to see this so uh, I'm very happy with it. I'm not sure if I'll ever use it to be honest because the app is perfectly fine for me and I don't really see the need of using just this regular remote for the vacuum but it's nice to have it included anyways. Then we net, uh, get a closer look here at this dock which is absolutely huge. Now you might ask yourself why is this dock so huge? And there's a simple reason for that and you can already see it on the right side. We have these vacuum bags right there because these go in the top of this dock because this dock isn't just for charging the robot vacuum, it's also for emptying it as well. So this means that all the dirt gets sucked out of the robot vacuum after it's finished cleaning and then it gets here sucked into these um, just vacuum bags one thing that I don't really like about it is that we need these vacuum bags so they will need replacement and they will cost you money after purchasing this uh, robot vacuum and I would have preferred to have like a clear plastic just like box that you could just then just like empty into the trash so that's basically the only negative aspect so far. Next up we'll then take a closer look at the robot vacuum itself and here we can already see the Kyvil S31 and I have to say in terms of design I'm pretty impressed. Online I wasn't really the biggest fan of this black color but here just looking at it it actually looks really nice and also the buttons have a really nice tactile feedback. On the top of course we see the LiDAR sensor that should give us really good and competent navigation throughout our home. And then we also see these two smaller brushes here on the right and left side just sticking out and again it's nice to see that they really pave the way for the dirt towards like this biggest brush uh, below. So now we'll take a closer look here at the left and right side and overall the build quality also makes a good first impression and one thing that's not that great about this black design it's really glossy and it really attracts fingerprints but then again you can control it with the app so usually you don't have to touch this vacuum too much so this is great to see and now we can see the bottom right here. Now you might be wondering why do we have like four charging pins right there and what I assume is just that if you 
have used the vacuum and then it goes back to the dog that's what i've already seen then it'll basically go in backwards first so that uh, the just dirt gets sucked out first and then it will rotate around just with the front first to charge here we can also see that we have these little levers here so that we can actually remove the main brush below the vacuum and this is great for getting hair out of it and just cleaning it overall and something that's definitely needed regularly so uh, definitely think of maintaining this vacuum as well just putting it in is pretty simple if you know how to do it and that also wraps up my unboxing and first impressions i hope that you guys like this video if you did please make sure to subscribe thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time